Okay, so in this video, we're going to discuss discuss uh, how to configure Cube ADM, Cubelet, and Cube Control uh, using Flannel for inner cube communication. Um, this guide is based around uh, you using Ubuntu 18.04 LTS. And that's going to be for the Cube Master and all Cube nodes. And in this case, we're only going to have two nodes connected to our master. Um, and then you can spin these uh, Ubuntu machines up, however, using VMware or AWS or Joe's Data Center or however you want to get uh, access to these Ubuntu servers. Could even be three physical Ubuntu boxes, for that matter. Um, I'm going to be using three Ubuntu uh, images off of AWS. <clears throat> so the beginning of this guide assumes that you already have those three Ubuntu 18.04 LTS images running, and then we can go ahead and get started. Um, I probably won't edit out any errors that I make just to help with the troubleshooting. Uh, I've been through these lists of commands a few times before, um, and I've discovered a few gotchas and made notes in here to uh, correct that. Um, if I discover any more gotchas during this demo, um, I'll likely leave them in and solve them uh, while recording. Okay, so let's go ahead and get started. All right, so we have our three different Ubuntu machines up and running. I'm already logged into them. And uh, so this first section, we're going to install and configure Docker on Ubuntu 18.04 LTS. And we're going to do that by running the following commands on all three servers. Uh, also, I suggest that um, I'll make sure that this document is available, um, and I suggest that you copy and paste some of the more complicated ones, but feel free to type them out if you think that will help you with memorization. I don't think there's anything wrong with becoming more familiar with um, you know, Linux commands and uh, terminal. All right, so the first thing we're going to do is run this curl command. And we're going to go ahead and do that on all three machines. OK, and we're expecting to get that OK response on all of them. Now we're going to go ahead and add the repository that we're going to be using for this particular uh, Docker image. And we're going to run that on all three servers as well. I'm going to make sure that should be finishing up on each of them. OK, so that is done. All right, and then we're going to Make sure everything's up to date. Once again, we're doing this on all three servers. Once all of those are finished, we move on and we're going to install a very specific form of or a version, a very specific version of Docker. And the reason why we're using a very specific version of Docker and we'll be using very specific versions of other uh, applications is because we're going to lock those versions. And because by locking those versions, we know we have control over our configuration, and we know that this uh, particular cube setup uh, will work going forward. And we can update uh, when we want to, and this will prevent um, Docker and Cube and other applications from updating on their own. All right, so once those finish up, we're going to go ahead and now mark and hold our current Docker version on all three boxes. So 
pretty good. Now we can go ahead and confirm that things are running as expected by running sudo docker version. All right, that looks good. Put it there as well, and finally, all right, all set. Moving on. So now we'll be working on installing and configuring kubeadm, kubelet, and kubectl. Once again, we'll be running these commands on all three servers. All right, running the curl command. And just for some further explanation here, um, you can deem any one of these three your master, but I'm making this very first box my master. This will be cube node one and cube node two. So one of your boxes will be your master, the other two would be nodes that will be connecting to that master eventually. It's good to go ahead and have that kind of defined ahead of time uh, to help with keeping things organized nice and neat. All right, so next we're gonna go ahead and run uh, the next command to bring down our Kubernetes uh, that we wanna use. Um, and we're gonna be running this on all three machines as well. All right, once again, we're going to do a sudo apt git update to make sure everything is up to date currently. Okay, so that's on all three boxes as well. Make sure all those are done, finish updating. Very good. All right, and we're going to, once again, install a very specific version of Kubernetes. And this is so that we can maintain our dependencies and we know what our configuration is and we have control over when it's updated. Okay, all good. Uh, and now we're going to install very specific versions of kubelet, cube ADM, and cube control. And that will be on all three servers as well. All right, looking good. Looks like we're set up there. Now we will go ahead and mark and hold our kubelet, kubeadm, and cube control versions so that they will not update on their own. And we'll do a quick test to make sure kubeadm is running as expected. If I can spell. Very good. All right, on to standing up our cube cluster. 
So for this particular set of instructions, this will only be on the master. So it's important that you have now decided which one of your three Ubuntu boxes will be the master uh, because this next set of commands will only be for the master. This might actually take a few minutes to complete. And once this completes, uh, we will set up our local cube config on the master next. All right, very good. <clears throat> now we can go ahead and set up local, local cube config by running this next series of commands. And something I want to go ahead and point out is uh, those that set of commands is actually right here. Um, and the block that we're going to need for having our nodes join is actually right here, which is individual and different every time you set one of these up. And I make note of that in the instructions that um, you won't actually be able to record this command. This will be something that you're going to have to look for when you set up your master every time. All right, so we now do a check and do a cube control version. We should get a client version and a server version, which we do. Which is a server version, client version. It's very important that we confirm that. All right, and then if we go back up here, like I was saying, we're going to grab this command right here, uh, cube ADM join, and it'll give you an IP address and a port number. Um, and we're going to copy that and we're going to run it on our two nodes. However, before you do that, you need to make sure you put sudo in front of that command. Very good. Same thing on the other node. Excellent. And like I said, I put a note here in the uh, instructions. This command is generated in your terminal. The above command is only an example. So now we're going to go ahead and take a look on the master to see if our nodes have uh, joined as expected. And they have. And the status of not ready is expected. So we can go ahead and see our master here. And then we have two nodes currently that are in the not ready status. And that is okay because now we're going to move on and we're going to go ahead and set up cluster networking using flannel. And we will be running these commands on all three uh, servers once again. And just to check that, make sure that our IP tables are set up properly. We are expecting a NetBridge IP table call, a value of one, and that's what we have here. 
So hopefully we'll, we know that that is working as expected. We'll go ahead and check the other ones as well. Very good. And finally our last one. Excellent. All right, so now we're gonna install Flannel in the cluster by running this only on the master. It's very important that this is only ran on the master. And it's the cube control apply F command with the URL after it. And essentially what we're doing is we're bringing down a YAML file that will tell Flannel uh, how to set up in our cluster. So now we should be able to once again use cube control to take a look at our nodes. And we have a status of ready now with the master and our two nodes, which is what we want and what we expect. Also, something else, uh, another got you that I made a note about that got me was uh, sometimes these don't pop into the ready status quite as fast as you would expect, not as fast as they just did right there. Um, so if, if you Go to check, do a cube control, get nodes command, and they're still popping up the not ready status, or some of them are ready and some of them are not ready. Um, just give it a few minutes, a few moments, whatever, and keep trying, and they should come around relatively quickly. So, and finally, just to make sure that flannel is working as expected and that communication is taking place as expected, we're going to take a look at the pods. We're going to use a cube control command again. And what we're looking for is to make sure that we should have three pods with flannel in the name and all three should have a status of running. And I put an image for reference down here, but we're going to go ahead and take a look at it. And yes, our flannel networking seems to be working as expected. We have all three. They are currently in a running status. So our cluster is now running as expected and we are done. And at this point, we could deploy a uh, application uh, upon our Kubernetes cluster, which is something that I'll be covering in the future. So I hope this video was useful to you. And like I said, I will be making the uh, guide that I put together here available uh, in the comments or a link maybe to this Google Doc. Um, and if you have any questions, you can reach me at ryancarolina88 at gmail.com. Thanks.